can't hurt Uncle Rogvir. Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. As far as you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Traitor! Get on with it! You should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Advar. They're all hard. Traitor! Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Torik. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He Traitor. doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric Lion. challenged Torik. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Boom! On this day, I go to Sarengard. Feel free to make requests. I'm waiting. Out with it. You wouldn't be a sellsword, would you? I have a little problem you could solve. Mind yourself in my city, friend. This here... It's in full swing is a right terrible sight. Out with it. You stay out of trouble now. The Castle Dower Dungeon can break even the strongest will. Good riddance to bad rubbish, I say. Yes? Need something? Damn oh, shame, Rolf here. You're a good man. Need something? Huh? Need something? Huh? Coin or two or a pendrick? It's not much to ask. I may have accidentally let a prisoner escape, the leader of one of those bandit groups. I told everyone he died during questioning, and I need you to track him down and make sure he doesn't show up to disprove that. You know you can afford a septum or two. Good. I'll have a sack of coin waiting for you when you get back. Hi, I'm the headsman here in Solitude. It's my job. Depends on what you mean by busy. I'm also the head jailer in the dungeon here. Quiet job, usually. Ain't got one, but I'd fancy a chance at that Jari Ra's scrawny neck. Filthy Argonia never would have set foot in this city if High King Torig was still alive. I can tell you that. Remember... I need that bandit dead, not alive. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. I'm not interested, that Jerry, It doesn't system. matter how many times you ask. You might want to rethink that. You're missing Everything's all right. Wonderful opportunity. What is it? Working in that bar. Staying out of trouble, hmm? Kinsman. Sell off that junk at bits and pieces. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, I'm waiting. sir. That I am. Train the recruits. Turn boys into men. That sort of thing. Thinking of asking the general for some training books. Give the soldiers something to do while they're on rest. Something besides drinking. Ever seen a book called The Mirror? We used to hand it out to boys looking to learn basic shield work. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Good on you. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. 
let Ulfric pillage a city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help. Their aim battle. could be steadier, but they're battle ready. A move for White Keep my men in your... Need to be there Out with it. Them. Not my Perhaps finest hour. Rogvir was a fine sure and honorable man. Intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense. Sometimes you just do what sir. needs to be done. You don't have to hate a man to kill him. Though, admittedly, it helps. Not my finest hour. Rogvir was a fine and honorable man. No, I think he was entirely wrong. Rogvir's execution was justified and necessary. Being honorable might make you a good man, but it doesn't make you right. Be a better world if it did. Stay strong. The Eight Willing will win this war. Watch the skies, Traveler. Wonder. What does the Dragonborn do once he's been summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thum be taught, like any skill? Exciting when new folk come into town. I bet you've had plenty of adventures. Being old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed, and my working days are done. So, what do we have here? Hmm... Let me guess. By your scent, I'd say you were from the Guild. But that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. I don't deal in land or property. Now if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember this every deal I handle. Line. A legend we all know and love. Our hero, our hero claims a warrior's heart. I don't I care what you, you promise. I if I tell you the, the buyer's name and word gets around, it could ruin me. With a voice wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe. Hasn't Mercer Frey taught you people comes. anything? It's you an kill me, and your only contact with the East Empire Company vanishes. Beware, That's not smart for business. Well, now that you mention it. There is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine. There just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. We drink to our youth, to the days come and gone. For the age of aggression is just about done. We'll Papa says I want to see Robin. cloaks and restore what we own. Why not? With our blood and our steel.
I don't abide fancy clothes, but you look like you might. I hear Radiant Raymond's has a large selection. to you unnatural magics are coming don't even think about it there are strange noises and lights please don't interrupt the court then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town Hafengar's people will always be safe under my your rule. eminence my scrying has suggested nothing in the area dragon bridge is under imperial control this is likely superstitious nonsense perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for oh yes of course you were right Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. Please address all questions to the steward, Falk Firebeard. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Oh, I thought that matter was handled. I think Falk is taking care of that. Hmm. A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius's leadership. For what other choice do we have? Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow. Now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war, and her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim, and like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torig. And so he came before my husband and he... He shouted. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury, my husband, he... he simply ceased to be. That is all I will say, for it grieves me to speak of it. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. I am the Jarl's steward. If you have court business to tend to, you talk to me. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. Of course he does. What sort of a question is that? Maybe you've been listening to Eriker. There's been loose talk among some of the Thanes, and I suspect he's the cause of it. 
You'll pay those rumors no heed if you wish to retain your welcome in this city. She may be young, but Elisif is the Jarl by right. And here in Skyrim, if nothing else, we respect the traditions of our father's fathers. You'd do well to remember that. The cave has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. That remains to be seen. By rights, she has a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But we must have the support of the other Jarls for that claim to have any meaning. Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. Trouble? Ah, I see you have the wine. Good. Can't have the buyer getting impatient and looking elsewhere for this, can we? Here, take this. I certainly can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. Not at all. I consider it an investment in prolonging my life. As far as Golden Glow Estate goes, I'll tell you what I know. I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. She flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Arangoth for the estate. I brought in the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. This one's a favorite. Not at all. I tend Legend not to ask too many love. questions when I'm on the job. Our I'm sure you understand. However, I did notice she was quite angry. And it was being directed at Mercer Frey. In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way.
Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Time to end this little game.
tricks on me again. Can't stand this sea air.
start keeping a knife at my boot. There you are. I cannot best you. 